expected to find the value of integral negative 1 to 1 x squared times e raised to the power of the greatest integer function x cubed times dx. Now as I mentioned to you, if you were to consider the greatest integer function for the interval negative 1 to 1, you will have to take into account that the greatest integer function will be discontinuous at all integer values. And in this case, it would have to be considered from negative 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 because of the discontinuity that would occur. And the interval for this would be split from negative 1 to 0 followed by 0 to positive 1. So in the first phase, the value of x that we would consider would be between negative 1 and 0. Now we would have to know what is the value of x cubed, the greatest integer of, of x cubed. So that is imperative to solve this question. And this requirement is needed. So if x is lying between negative 1 and 0, x cubed will also be in this particular interval, negative 1 to 0, because all I need to do is just cube it up. And if I were to take the greatest integer of x cubed, that would give me negative 1. And this in turn would mean e raised to the power of greatest integer of x cubed would be equal to e raised to the power of negative 1. So that is a very important point we will have to take into note. So this is going to be x squared times e raised to the power of, as I mentioned to you, this is going to be negative 1 times dx. Now, coming to the next interval, 0 to 1. So, x is lying between 0 and 1. So, let me write that like this. x is between 0 and 1. And this would mean x cubed will be between 0 and 1. And the greatest integer of x cubed will be equal to 0. So this would mean e raised to the power of x cubed is going to be e raised to the power of 0 which is equal to 1. So in this case it's going to be x squared times e raised to the power of 0 times dx which I can easily integrate. So this is going to be, I'm rewriting it, integral negative 1 to 0 x squared times e raised to the power of negative 1 that's a constant, so it's going to be 1 over e times dx followed by e raised to the power of 0, that's going to be 1. So I need to integrate 0 to 1 x squared times dx. So that's simple to integrate. This is going to give me 1 over e, integral of x squared is going to be x to the power of 3 divided by 3. The limits are negative 1 to 0. This is going to be x to the power of 3 divided by 3. The limits are 0 to 1. If you were to apply the upper limit, 0, the lower limit is going to give me negative 1 over 3. In this case, the upper limit would give me 1 over 3 followed by 0. So rewriting this, I get 1 over 3 times e positive 1 over 3. I take 1 over 3 out. I would get 1 over e positive 1. In fact, you can either stop here or you can go up to this particular point. So this is the solution, students, and we have achieved the value for this. So it's a beautiful question, and we are we able to solve it because of the definition of greatest integer function. So we'll move on to the next one.